I've just been watching a programme on the television about uh, the Romanians coming into England. And um, uh, they waited when, when the bound borders came down for the sort of arrival of these thousands of Romanians. And there was just one arrived. Anyway, the Channel 4 programme, or BBC 2, I can't remember now, followed it through and followed this chappy through. And he did very well. He, uh, he, he got a very sort of high-powered job. There was quite a lot about him. Um, and they followed some others through as well, people who were sleeping rough from Romania. And uh, my goodness, they do, they are, in Romania, they certainly do have poor conditions out there. They're very poor conditions. And you can't um, blame anyone for wanting to come to the the UK uh, you know one room whole family in one room with disabled children as well um, so they've they've actually found that there was only about 10,000 Romanians have come to this country this year um, but there have been an awful lot of Polish um, uh, over the past few years I think nearly a million Polish have come. And, and what was happening basically is um, they're obviously filling the jobs. I mean, this has always been the case, hasn't it? From the 1950s, when the um, people from the West Indies came, uh, they were invited uh, because there was shortage of bus drivers and such like. Um, and what one of the interesting, uh, well, when, when there's shortage, of, I mean, they, they come to fill the jobs that people won't do. And one of the interesting things about the programme was that there was somebody there recruiting taxi drivers because apparently you can't get taxi drivers in, in, in the UK. You know, there's jobs, but people just won't do them. You know, going out on a Friday night to pick up drunks. And um, uh, and it's sort of like an agency, and he, he sort of trains them up, and they have to, you know, show that they can read a map and and, and find areas and that. And they're all, they're older people; they're not they're not youngsters. And they follow some of these taxi drivers from Romania coming back, and their experiences of England. And the first night this chap went out, um, there were two girls fighting, you know, sort of Friday night, two o'clock in the morning, uh, girls fighting over nothing, drunk or drugged, and, uh, and people being sick in the back of the car and all this sort of thing. And, 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 and um, you know, to the, uh, to the Romanians, I mean, this was just a, anathema you know there, there were the, the Romanians you know living in a very poor state uh, and and people the English were just sort of uh, wasting their lives you know getting drunk um, and uh, fighting and I've just watched another program about um, football hooligans and, and, and they just arrange fights you know, they'll, they'll fight, phone other gang leaders just so they can go and have a fight. Um, the rest, the, the uh, Eastern Bloc world must think we're absolutely bonkers in England. Um, sort of young people in England. Uh, and, um, you know, I don't know. They don't want to, I don't know. Uh, it's, just, it's just bonkers. I'll leave it there. Bye.